back to UNSC Base Camp Charlie. John. Well, all of the bases are set up now to receive those reinforcements. Cortana, have you relieved Blue Team yet? Cortana. I have I stationed Sergeant Forge, and we're constructing one of the MK3 prototypes. John. Good at least Forge is gonna get an early Christmas. Amber walked towards him with Johnson leaving base camp Bravo and joining to greet the new arrivals. Amber. So what's this place? John. A slip space nexus, basically a place that makes portals from other worlds. Amber just looked on until John handed her a high-powered scope. John, we can't simply send them here where many people, even the kingdoms, can see them. So they will be entering from space. Amber looks up looking for ships until a large portal opened and ships begin to come out and ships begin to come out fleet one infinity class one artemis class one thanatos class one phoenix class five paris class amber were well, there's so many of them John, that's not all of them. Then, one Covenant supercarrier. One Covenant supercarrier. Ten Corvettes. Amber, are you going to war? John, no war is coming to us. I need to pay Vale a visit. I need to deal with the hidden enemies before engaging them openly. Amber, stay safe, okay? Amber, I will. You be careful out there. John reunites with Blue Team and put Cal in charge of Shine. John. All right, Blue Team, our first objective is to remove the local White Fang threat. Sam. So basically the insurrection wars again? John. Terrorist always exists no matter the place or time Sam. Either way, we have to keep major population centers safe. First is removing the criminal element. Both the White Fang and this Cretan. John shows a hologram of a fashion disaster in the making. Kelly, who's the chump John? Linda, somebody call the fashion police. Frederick, I'm assuming he's a wanted criminal. John, most wanted Fred. Kelly, for what the most poorly dressed individual. John, enough. Judging by the string of dust robberies, he might aim for a bigger target. Sam, dust? Why would people want dust? It's just dirt. Frederick, you weren't paying attention when Chief haven't you? It's a source of power on this planet. They use it for many things. Weapons, power, and their huntsmen. Sam, so we need to make sure he doesn't steal anymore? John, yes, capture and interrogate. Linda, the rest? John, if they surrender, spare them, if not eliminate with extreme prejudice. Bohammer, all right, Chief, staying under the radar, and I'm dropping you a few cam away. You can swim the rest of the way. Blue Team jumps out and swam to the docks. They remain hidden until for hours. John then spots Blake on the rooftops, then he sees a blonde monkey next to her. John, gone for months, and I'm already replaced, huh? Kelly, Chief, John.
gone. Nothing, just bad memories. Linda looks at the direction he was looking at. Linda, they're the ones who left you to rot? John. Yeah. Sam, they're not your friends, not your family. Kelly, we're your family, John. Linda, she's right, we're here for you. John, thanks guys, but stay on mission. I'll deal with these excess baggage later. Blue team nods. Then a bullhead lands in White Fang and finally Roman Torchwick. John. What? Why are White Fang members working with a human and him of all people? Frederick. Highly suspicious. HVI identified. John. Hold. In. Then Blake charges Torchwick and held her weapon to his throat. Blake, brothers and sisters of the White Fang, why do you work with this scum? Roman, nobody told you? We're in a healthy business relationship. Kelly, while he openly admits it, we have confirmation he's with the White Fang. John, he believes he can't be captured. Then Torchwick took the shot and blew Blake away. As she was recovering from the blast, she was being surrounded by white fang ruts. Roman was getting ready to glow until a banana peel fell on his head. Roman, why you damn dirty ape? Sam, while those kids are in way over their heads. Linda, so where were we when we first fought the Covenant? Frederick, we were fully trained soldiers. These posers haven't even finished a few months yet. John, blue team fallen. The Spartans jumped from where they are and with a thunderous thud they stood tall. John, Roman Torchwick, you're under arrest. Roman, and who the hell are you? Then some of the white fan grunts shivered. WFG1, it's the demon. WFG2, there's more of them. WFG3, run. John, blue team engage hostiles. Blue Team proceeded to kill all the White Fang who fought back. After Blake recovered, she was horrified at what she was seeing. Five armored soldiers killing the White Fang who were fighting back. But she focused herself in apprehending Torchwick. Sun was fighting off Roman until Blake joined the fray. Blue team was mopping up stragglers until a bullet hit a few feet away at John's foot. He looked towards the source only to find a white fang grunt shaking. But what makes this grunt different is a kid only 11 years old. John holstered his weapons and approached the child. The kid couldn't even pull the trigger due to the fear. John reached for the weapon and took it away gently. He then took of the kid's mask and looks at his face. John, why are you here, kid? They said if I didn't do as they say, they'll kill me. His voice trembling. John, where are your parents? They killed them. He points at the White Fang members. John. I'm sorry about that kid. Then he crushed the mask in his hand with ease. Blake saw the action and wondered. Blake, he spared a kid? The white fang is using children. Kelly, get this kid out of here and prep for Xville. Kelly, roger that. She picked up the child and fall back. 
The surviving white fan grunts surrendered while Torchwick and a few of his goons are still fighting. A shot hit near Torchwick and he looked up to see a familiar girl in a red cloak. Roman, hey Red, isn't it past your bedtime? Then multiple bull had appeared in the sky. Then a red had approached Ruby and asked, Penny, friend Ruby, are these people your friends? Ruby, Penny stay back. Seeing her distracted tried shooting at her when an armored hand grabs the cane and bends it into a U shape. Roman, oh come on. Do you know how expensive this thing is to fix? John tried to grab him, but Torchwick managed to narrowly escape his clutches as the three bullheads opened fire. John, this is Sierra 117, requesting heavy ordnance. That you covered Master Chief. Then heavy weapons open fire on one of the bullhead, destroying it. The rest of the white fan covered Roman's escape and fired on Ghost. Then he responded in kind. Then pelicans landed near the docks and deployed marines. Ghost, Hades Corps, show them how marines fight. Marines Europe. The Marines charged at the White Fang. Ruby. Wow, what are those things? Penny. How curious. It reminds me of the Atlas Paladin prototype. She says as she records the battle between the Spartans and Marines. To deliver to the General later. Only one bull had escaped all remaining White Fang. The UNSC proceed to clean up as authorities arrive to arrest the criminals. The rest of Team RWY arrive to reconcile with their wayward teammate. After they said their apologies, Blake then approached John. Blake, why did you kill them? John, we have our orders. They're terrorists. Blake, they were misguided. John, tell that to their victims. Blake then couldn't talk back. During her time there, she saw the violent nature they were heading. Linda, don't talk like you understand, Brad. Grow up first. Young then stormed her way at them. Young, don't talk to her like that. Kelly, or what? If you throw a punch, you just land your ass in jail. Frederick, grow a pair of brain cells before you talk, kid. Young was fuming as Ruby tries to pull her sister away. Sam, maybe we should arrest your friend for interfering military affairs. I would like it if you don't dot that. They all turn to see an old man. Oshkin, they are my responsibility and I do believe we have the authority to punish any unwanted behavior. John the organized his troops and gave them orders to continue the construction projects. He will undergo a solo mission. Oshpin then asks him something. Oshpin, can you please come with me? John, for what reason? Oshpin, to discuss this incident. John, as you wish, I also have a lot to speak to you about. Blue team once again parted ways as John went a beacon. John sad faced this might be a clusterfuck waiting to happen.